Today we're going to be checking out the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Cookware. I'm really excited to test these out. I think it means I'm getting old that I'm this excited about cookware. But I'm okay with that. Welcome to another video. Alright, before we open this up, I'm going to go over some of the main bullet points on the features of this set. It's really impressive. Um, hopefully it's the best cookware that I've ever used. It should be for the price, but um, it's supposed to be really amazing. So it's supposed to never stick, never chip. It's metal utensil safe. The lids, the handles, and the non-stick coating are all safe for your oven. So you can take stuff straight from the cooktop to the oven, no problem. Which is really nice if you like to brown your meats or your toppings and then you finish it in the oven. So that's really cool. And they are safe for up to temperatures of 500 degrees. It's got a heavy gauge aluminum base, which results in even heating and even cooking. It takes a little bit longer for uh, the pans to heat up, but the results should be much better. The pans should be more forgiving because they will last longer, so the temperature is not changing as quickly. It's designed to withstand high heat cooking and aggressive scrubbing. Uh, it does say that it's backed by the Ninja Never Stick Lifetime Warranty when used as directed. And then it says lifetime based on five years. It's all range capable. You can use gas, electric, induction, glass, ceramic. <clears throat> all right, let's open this up and take a look inside. Whoa. First, we see some lids. Very nice, very nice. Ninja. Cardboard. Never stick cookware is not your typical cookware. All right, looking at the first pan. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is really nice. You it tell, it, it, it feels heavy duty but light at the same time. And it looks awesome. Pretty. Okay, so this is a one and a half quart saucepan, and then we have our two and a half quart saucepan. Three quart saute pan. Very nice, very nice. I love the look of these, these are amazing. This must be our eight quart stock pan. Yes. Lovely. All right, I'm just kind of excited. These are nice. Ten and a quarter inch fry pan. A lot of cardboard. A lot of cardboard. A lot of sap. More lids. More cardboard. More cardboard. Twelve inch fry pan. So ten inch fry pan. Eight and a quarter inch fry pan. No. Ten and a quarter inch fry pan. Eight inch fry pan. And this is the twelve inch fry pan with lid. And it also has a lid that fits on the large fry pan as well. Awesome. Yeah, two small lids for the two saucepans. Hardware. All right. Without further ado, we are going to go to the kitchen and try these out. Here's a look at all the, the cardboard you'll be getting, just in case you are wondering. All right. So I'm gonna do a simple test with some making some pancakes. I think it's a great test for simply testing the non-stickability and the evenness of cooking. Yeah, so I preheated the pan like it says to, so it takes a little bit longer to heat up. Cook, cook, cook. I got it set on like about medium high. Woo, look at that. Beautiful. Very non-stick, not using any extra oil or anything. Very evenly cooked. I make pancakes for my daughter just about every day for breakfast. And these look really good. Very nice. Usually the 
other side of the pancake does not turn out that well because the top starts to already cook a little bit. This came out like awesome on both sides. Not even really anything to clean up, but I'm gonna wipe clean pretty easily. All right, now I'm gonna simply boil some water just to see how long it takes. This is a pretty big pot too. And how well, how well it boils because my last pans, it would get to a boil, but it wouldn't even hardly get to a rolling boil, I think just because of the material it was made out of. So I just wanna see how well it does. Got it. Boilage. Nice. See, my other pan would not do that. Anyway, so it boils water well. All right, let's check the handles. Candles stay nice and cool, even though they're they're metal. Water just wipes right up. Oh, never mind. And now for the omelet test. I love how even it cooks. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, that is so awesome. That's awesome. Mm. All right, so now we got a pan that's a bit dirty. See how this cleans up. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Awesome. <clears throat> and there we go. Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. go. On the test was a success. I love these pans. They're great. So, 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 so. All right, so I wanted to show one more thing. So I was, when I was cooking dinner tonight, uh, I did some with chicken breast. I figured I would show how things turn out. So far, so good. I haven't added anything to the pan whatsoever. Holding it enough moisture to keep it not dry, not sticking. Alright, so they turned out great. Hi. Great. Stick. Alright, so I think it's pretty obvious what my opinion is on these pans. They're awesome. Um, they are not cheap. They are $379.99 right now on Amazon. But if you cook a lot, and okay with spending that amount of money i think it's worth it they're really they're really nice to cook with and if you get a cheap set even a hundred dollar set um they're gonna be awesome at first but they're not gonna hold up i mean we've been getting sets like that and after about a year they're <clears throat> they're really going downhill now i can't speak for these because i haven't had them more than a few days but um, I'm assuming they're gonna last a lot longer. That's how I feel. They're definitely made different, made better. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do a follow-up down the road. Put a link down below if you wanna check it out and thanks for watching. I appreciate it and don't forget to get these pants because they're awesome. And the evenness of cooking. My battery's gonna die.